Good morning, everyone. 7.45 a.m. Central Daylight Time here in Cypress, Texas. This is Francis, your favorite amateur astronomer, giving you some bonus footage. Bonus footage of Comet Ison taken the morning of Halloween, yesterday morning, October 31st. Let's get to it. So, um, we took pictures of common ice on using two telescopes one is taken by t11 the 17 inch cdk plane wave the other taken by t4 the takahashi, takahashi. both excellent telescopes to be taking this kind of pictures these kinds of images but we get um different results because they're two different telescopes <clears throat> now what I've done is I had to rotate um, this image to get it to be in the same position as this image or as close to as possible and over here what we miss over here we can get a little bit more of over here well, you can see this. We'll zoom out even farther. A wide field of view starts off in th like this. This image taken on T11 is much, you get a much sharper, much clearer, more resolute image. I have it rotated, so it lines up as best as we can with the positioning of this image but on this image I can zoom well we can zoom in quite well and now I want to look at these through some color just changing contrasts, seeing what shows up. I'm sorry I'm not talking my way through it. I'm enjoying the uh, view.
and I'm just going through uh, the, the color schemes that are best to try to see anything that the people are talking about. I've got report. I've got new people coming to me this morning saying that Comet Ison's a planet, 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 and with Mars, the the Mars is white. The Mars is got a coma. Mars is, you know, and I have to be honest with myself, and I have to be honest with people because I'm seeing these things. I I have my observations. I have my interpretations, and at the same time, I go back and I do paintings. And I paint these things that people are, well, not all the time, but I'm, I'm taking that energy, whatever it is, all this cosmic drama, and um, I get some solace and I put it in the paintings. So maybe some of the people who got so much cosmic drama should paint a cosmic painting and put the drama in the painting and then you can release your pressure. So let's look at it, this comet Ison slash comet. <laughs> now uh, let's talk about the photos. This little over here. This is for T4, no T11, this for this one. And you could pause, of course, in the video if you wanted to capture any of this. And it tells you what picture, how I took the picture, what the picture, where the picture, where the telescope, how the telescope, who do it, what they do it, how they do it. And when it was taken. All hard evidence which allows me to sleep at night over these photos. I'd hate to express photos that weren't the real deal. I'm not in it for that. Okay, so you got that information. Let's see if we get over here. Electronics are running slowly in my house. I don't know why. There's T4, bring it over here. Attack Epsilon 250, 250 millimeter, not 220. Clear, clear filter, light frame, medium. I hope to one day know all of that but I mean if I don't if all if all I have to my claim to fame is YouTube and these pictures which I find very interesting thank you very much oh wow well, there's that I've seen astronomers get discouraged and they're doing what they're doing and I'm doing what I'm doing let's do a little color down oh, we should probably get into the action right I hope I'm talking loud enough wake up everyone wake up um, so many people to say hello to Good morning, John Zascoda. Good morning, Jess. Good morning, Chuck and Doris. Good morning, Jack. Good morning, Stephen. Good morning, Suspicious Observers. Good morning, I'm going to say it wrong, Corno16. Good morning, America. Good morning, world. We're just sitting here looking into outer space. Oh! And speaking of which, I've taken to stepping out back into my backyard and cranking my neck all the way back and staring up into the sky just to see what I can see. And I will agree there is lots of activity to see with your naked eyes on a clear night. 
or let me say this also on a clear morning early morning or a clear end of day when it gets dark when it finally gets your dark after the sun has gone down and before the sun has risen those are the times of days to get your binoculars out and go and look out into the sky astronomers will wait for objects to be at zenith now an astronomer is going to bring themselves out to dark skies with a camera and a telescope and when the object is at its highest peak it's being seen through the least amount of atmosphere and could be potentially the purest of image to take and the time to take it but for comets and looking with your naked eyes into the night go out in the morning or go out early night and then look up because that's when the sun has an opportunity to be hitting satellites and I'm shooting stars yes uh, zoom zoom let's see I'll recount what's what what my observations have been let's say within the last 60 days nine 60 to 90 days because I'm not keeping a journal no journal uh, two fireballs one had first first object fireball fireball meteor me, then meteorite heading east to west and then another one a couple of weeks later heading west to east and then recently because I'm my interest has really been peaked is that I'm going out now looking up and you know, now I've got shooting stars left and right right up at zenith and, and it's like I go out crane my neck look up I said I wish I see a shooting <laughs> last night that was how it was and then this morning I go out this morning before sunrise and I'm looking up and there's Orion or if you're looking straight up and your neck is craned I can't tell you everything you're gonna see but over there in the southwest is Orion Orion's belt M42 the great Orion Nebula the great hunter and I see coming but I, I wait and I'm zoning and I start seeing a satellite and it passes right through Orion and I'm following it through Orion and it's getting sort of dim but I can still know because it's going uh, geometrically in one direction as it dims out and then and this opposite direction comes another one right through Orion so it was an awesome sight and look at I wasted the whole 15 minutes and we didn't even get bonus footage we got bonus talk um, let's do two minutes Looks pretty clean to me. My time's almost up. Okay. Hey.